When we come back, Mel Gibson is a Scots freedom fighter in Braveheart. If we win, we'll have what none of us have ever had before. A country of our own. You've come to fight as three men. And three men you are. What will you do without freedom? Mel Gibson plays William Wallace, a 13th century Scotsman who led his countrymen against the English in Braveheart, a new epic filled with blood, thunder, romance, and history. It's a mixture of a little merchant in ivory and a lot of Mad Max in a rousing adventure story that's especially good during the bloody battle scenes. Not much is known about the real William Wallace, but Gibson's fictional version is a fierce nationalist who defeats the English and then defies them. In a Scotland's terms, lower your flags and march straight back to England, stopping at every home you pass by to beg forgiveness for a hundred years of theft, rape, and murder. Do that, and your men shall live. Do it not, and every one of you will die today. Between his campaigns, Wallace finds time for romance. His first love is his childhood sweetheart, played here by Catherine McCormick. I love you. Always have. I want to marry you. And later, he finds an unlikely ally in the French-born Princes of Wales, who betrays her English husband and father-in-law to inform Wallace of England's plans. She's played by Sophie Marceau. This is the second time you've warned me of danger. Why? There will be a new shipment of supplies coming north next month. Foods and weapon, the world. No, sir. Why do you help me? You're looking at me now. Braveheart is the second movie this season about warrior Scotsman. The first was Rob Roy. I liked them both for different reasons. Rob Roy was more cerebral and down to earth, showing the brutish living conditions of the time and making us feel how exhausting a sword fight really is. Braveheart is more in the tradition of great Hollywood action epics and swashbucklers with thousands of thundering hooves, rivers of blood, and a charismatic hero. It's a very ambitious film and a good one. Mel Gibson, who not only stars but directs, has a sure hand for adventure. I like the two, Roger. I think that this film is also pretty gritty, actually. And what I liked about it is that he showed how dirty mm -hmm. and how brutal life was in the 13th century. I don't think this is that rom romanticized uh, medieval time period that you might be referring to with other epics. I thought that was, in fact, I thought it was kind of bold. This guy, Mel Gibson, obviously a mainstream hero, he could have made a, a, a real mainstream picture and maybe the, and obviously the great sword fight, I mean the great horse fights are, are in that tradition. But I thought that this is a pretty rough film. It's very intense and I thought it was pretty bold of him to do it that yeah, way. Yeah, and the art direction is good too. Those very. kind of crude wooden forts yes. and so forth that they have up there on the further borders of the English Empire. Yeah. Very interesting. He's breaking a little ground there, I think. When we come back, Keanu Reeves, fresh from that wild bus trip in speed, is an embattled futuristic courier of data storage on the information highway. Johnny Mnemonic is next. Who are you?